The 70s was really all about establishing identity for ourselves, the Islanders, and we did that pretty early. We had a, a young team with a few veterans, and I think we were the type of team that uh, we were very united, you know, we played as a team, and I think that was the key. The Islanders in 1975, if I remember correctly, we won our last regular season game against the Rangers. We were seeded number eight. We just got in, they were number one, and we eliminated them in the two out of three. Pittsburgh was next, they were seeded two. And uh, we lost the first three games, and uh, that was when Al Arbor's great line when we were practicing before the fourth game, elimination game. Let's bear down. You got maybe another half an hour, so bear down for half an hour. And he said, if anybody in here doesn't think that we can win this series, then go in, take your stuff off, and leave. And it was like quiet. I guess because we were so young and naive, it hadn't been done since 1942, a comeback from uh, three games. We just never give up. Play game by game, you know, shift by shift, and then we just stayed with it, and then, uh, you know, we were compensated for. In the world of hockey, players think that getting the breaks is almost equal with playing well. And we'd been playing well, but we just couldn't get any breaks. And then the breaks started to follow. Game four we won, game five, game six. And then going into Pittsburgh, I remember it like yesterday, nervous. I was just riding the wave like everybody else. I remember Eddie and I, back in those days, kind of killed the majority of the penalties. And I remember killing off a five on three which was huge. I think it was like five minutes to go in the game. It's no score. We were lucky enough to get uh, in the offensive zone at the right time with the right pass, Burt Marshall, and Gary Ennis was so shocked that I had a backhand. Then that puck went in. Uh, we still had five minutes to play against a really good team, but it was such a, such a relief. The miracle performance win four straight after losing the... In those days, Philly was so good. Boston was so good, Montreal was fantastic, and the Islanders, who the hell are they? Nobody expected what we did. I mean, they had some good good hockey players, and uh, and we just, I guess, willed our way through. I mean, Chico was really good. Eddie, I think his leadership was right at the forefront for that playoffs all the way through. Great comeback by the New York Islanders. What a big thing for the franchise and the fans.